Hi guys, today we're going to be showing you how to make chicken corn soup. For this we're going to need two eggs, two and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoon of Chinese salt, which is also known as ajinomoto, one teaspoon of red chili powder, four to five green chili, a small can of corn kernels, some corn flour, some soy sauce, and some medium quality white vinegar. And we're also going to need some bony chicken. We've just used half of a very small chicken. We're going to start by boiling a full kettle of water and we're going to add that to the pressure cooker. Then we're going to add the chicken and the salts, the ajinomoto and the regular salt and cover it and pressure it for 10 to 12 minutes. While the chicken is being pressured we're going to slice the green chili and we're going to add the white vinegar to it. This step is uh, best done the night before so the chili can soak up the vinegar but if you can if you want you can do it just before as well. And we're going to make a chili paste as well using that one teaspoon of red chili powder and just a little bit of vinegar. We're going to add half the corn kernels and all of the corn kernel water to a grinder and we're only going to grind it for a few seconds only as long as we have. We don't want to make this a paste, we just want to break the corn kernels. In a separate bowl, we're going to dissolve half of the corn flour in one and a half cup of water. And we're going to break the eggs and we're going to break the yolk, but we don't want to mix the yolk completely with the egg white. So just what we've done is what you should be aiming for as well. Uh, now that our chicken is done, we're going to open the cooker and have a look. The chicken will come off the bone very easily, and once that's off, we just want to mash it after. Using boneless chicken won't have the same effect as chicken with bones in it. Then we're going to mash it and then add it back to the water that we took it out of. We're also going to add the corn kernels that we've crushed, mix it, and because we want to make lots of chicken and corn soup today, we're going to add about another half a jug of water. Once the soup comes to the boil, we're going to start adding the corn flour. We don't want to add all of it at once. We want to add just a little bit, and then we're going to wait for it to boil. Once it starts boiling, then we can have a look at the thickness. If you add all of the corn flour in one go and the soup becomes too thick, then you've ruined your dish so it's best if you just add about a third of it or quarter or a half depending on how much you want to add and then wait for it to boil have a look at how thick it is and then add some more corn flour so as you can see our chicken and corn soup is almost ready we're going to keep mixing it and now we're going to add the egg we're going to mix it very quickly and add the egg very slowly so that the egg can form very long stringy bits. We're going to let it come to the boil again and once that happens our chicken and corn soup is ready. To serve we're going to put it in a bowl, add two very small teaspoons of the vinegar that we had and just a little bit of the red chili paste. We're going to garnish it with some soy sauce, black pepper and if you wish some salt. We hope you have enjoyed this recipe but Jess Cooking is also available on Facebook Give it a try. Thanks for watching. Good luck.